Uh, Ryan Nobles, it, we can't escape the fact that this is happening as there are members of the Republican Party who are rallying to the side of January 6th defendants. What did we see today with Marjorie Taylor Greene and those Republican lawmakers going to visit these defendants? Who were they, to who were they there to visit? What did those people do? And what were they trying, what message did they say they were trying to send with this? Well, this uh, a tour of the uh, jail here in Washington, D.C., where many of these January 6 defendants are being held, j just wrapped up in the last few minutes. So we're just now starting to get a sense of what Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, uh, Andy Biggs, uh, Clay Higgins, uh, you know, the far right of the far right of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives, uh, who went on this tour with the express purpose uh, of trying to display uh, this group of individuals as political prisoners who have been held uh, against their will uh, for crimes that Marjorie Taylor Greene and her cohorts believe are not worthy of prosecution. Uh, they have argued for some time uh, that they're being held uh, much longer than they should have been, that uh, at the very least that they deserve the right uh, to be released from jail pending the outcome of their trials. Obviously, uh, the judges in these cases have felt differently. Uh, and, you know, we did see a group of Democratic lawmakers from the Oversight Committee uh, join with the Republican Republicans on this tour, uh, but I was told specifically not to describe it as a bipartisan tour because they were specifically there to make sure that whatever uh, interpretation uh, Green and the, uh, the fellow members of the Republican Party had of this uh, was accurate. So we're still getting a sense of exactly what they hope to accomplish here. You know, it's important to point out, Katie, and, and I you think you were alluding to it, is that there have been many uh, of these January 6th defendants uh, who uh, Green and others uh, have uh, rushed to the defense of and said that they were incorrectly prosecuted, and many of them have cut deals, uh, you know, pled guilty, uh, served their time, and even in some cases have then gone on to testify on behalf of the prosecution. So uh, a lot of them have a long list of evidence stacked up against them. They're going through the judicial process just like many others in that Washington, D.C. jail who weren't there on January 6th but are on uh, different types of charges, uh, and there's really no hard evidence evidence uh, that they're being treated any differently. But they're trying to make an example out of them. This is in many ways an effort to whitewash the events of January 6th. You know, whether or not this uh, bubbles up past uh, the right wing ecosphere, uh, the bubble that many of these uh, members of Congress talk to on a, on a regular basis remains to be seen.